Hey, good morning. Patrick Gross here with the RG Group. Going to go over a few uh, interesting technologies with you here today. Uh, got two things I want to show you, a FANUC collaborative robot and a lineup of AMRs from mobile industrial robots. So we're going to start with the AMRs. And for those of you that don't know what an AMR is, it is a autonomous mobile robot or the newest form of um, basically industrial vehicles that you could use in your manufacturing environment. So here you've got a lineup and it's sort of nice the way we have these laid out. This is the original first Mir 100, which was uh, basically built a couple years back. Uh, there's now more than 6,500 of these in the marketplace. Uh, and on top of that is the Mir hook. So you can see that's used for towing uh, payload behind the Mir robot. Um, these are uh, widely used in, in the US and in Europe. And being that this was their first model, it will never be discontinued. Uh, it is also the most cost-effective model. The second model is the Mir 200. You can see also has the Mir hook on top of it and would be the second addition to the product lineup from Mir. Operates the exact same way, but with a heavier payload capability. So 200 kilograms of payload on top and much more than that when towing behind. And then the latest addition, or one of the latest additions to the Mir lineup is the Mir 250. If you were to look closely at this, you would see that this is a smaller robot with even more payload capacity. And some additional things are longer battery life, um, a little bit safer, a higher IP rating, and, and really the most advanced Mir technology in terms of the smaller robots that they're offering today, uh, also very popular in the marketplace. The way that these operate is using a couple things. If you come over here and look closely on the side of this vehicle, you'll see a blue wheel on the inside of that robot. That's not just a wheel, but it also has an encoder. And that encoder, along with those safety scanners, are how the mirror or the robot knows where it's at in your building. So no modifications to your infrastructure, no modifications to uh, the floors, no tape on the floors. These will autonomously navigate uh, their environments dynamically. So again, uh, autonomous mobile robots, Mir, they've got larger robots as well that aren't featured here today. Uh, we, the RG Group, have sold and installed close to 115 of these in the past four years. And we are doing that both regionally and nationally as a certified systems integrator. If you could follow me over here, I'm gonna show you a robot that we're using for some testing right now. This is the FANUC CR7IAL. L stands for a little bit longer reach. This is uh, one of FANUC's first collaborative robot offerings. They have since released a CRX, which is a smaller version of this, uh, but this is the traditional FANUC robot with a force torque sensor on the bottom here that makes it collaborative. It is durable, as you can see, much more robust than a traditional collaborative robot. It will move slower. It is very sensitive to the touch. So no cages required, no guarding required, no area scanners required, and uh, very long lasting, very durable. Um, FANUC, along with many of the other Cobot manufacturers in the marketplace today, are selling a lot of robots due to labor shortages, including us. So if you're interested in uh, an application utilizing this technology or any of this technology, we can help you design, install, and implement systems or simply supply the robot and teach you how to program it yourself. Um, thank you so much.